small children beating up adults. And guest characters. Right, them too. How tragic when the guest character is one of the best characters in the game. Doesn't seem to be much of a challenge. The game was doing that thing where it got suspiciously easy, despite being on like almost hardest difficulty. Inconsistency. Maybe you're just really good with Photon's moveset. Nah, I don't think it's that. I think it's just the AI's will go, eh. It will just automatically adjust itself from 1 to like fucking 7. Although there's only five five levels of difficulty. I don't know, Phonon, I was able to follow it pretty well. I think you're exaggerating a little bit. And she is trying to be that person that's trying to sound cool. I'm not sure how I feel about Remake 2 having dynamic difficulty. That works the same way as Resident Evil 4 did. I don't know, sometimes just like, you know, I don't feel like... It's like if I'm doing well, I don't feel like having it be harder is the appropriate course of action. Maybe I'm comfortable at that level. So like keep it consistent throughout the whole experience. Well, it worked, worked fine for RE4. I can't imagine it won't work for RE2. I mean, I could be perfectly okay with fighting zombies. Or do, do especially well fighting zombies, and then Birkin shows up and puts his fist right through my asshole. I mean, didn't that happen anyway? By virtue of enemies being able to move way, way better than you can. Them having full 3D movement. <laughs> Small, excitable child. Yeah, she's way too excited. Not that she'd let anybody know that. No, that would not be cool. Liking stuff is for chumps. Oh no, she's gonna fangirl all over the place, isn't she? Briefly. Well, here we go. Smooth move, Phonon. It turns out not everybody appreciates somebody trying to sound tough. Don't call any lady in Japan old, I guess. Especially as she has superpowers and she's the leader of some evil organization. Apparently ladies in Japanese media are really sensitive about that for some reason. But nobody actually calls her that. Yeah, 
I mean, for starters, she doesn't use a whip. I don't think her personality is domineering. Plus a fan of Hilda, more of a fan of Hilda's personality. Her character archetype. Yes. I'm gonna just bring them all, then I might kill them. I mean, entertain them. Yep, killing high school students. Truly the pinnacle of anime villainy. But when all anime protagonists are roughly high school age, does it really count? I mean, they're still children. It's called self-defense. You're giving Hilda ideas. I mean, lawfully speaking, that's how it normally works. Right. Don't do dexterous things with your fingers, my doctor says, as I unwrap a starburst. And continue to play video games. Well, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Not eat yeah. starbursts and play video games? It's kind of what I told him, like, uh, I guess I'll watch a little bit more Netflix than normal? I mean, at the very least, you probably don't need your index finger a whole lot when you're playing video games, but... You'd be surprised. Well, I mean, apart from hitting the shoulder buttons... That and the tingly pinprick doing kind of a little extend to my thumb after a while. Purple pedal sucks. Sweet robot hand, please. I wouldn't mind having robot hands. How oh, you could take everything below the upper jaw. So, like Raiden? Yes, exactly like Raiden. Although I think I'd still want, like, to be able to wear clothes. I mean, Raiden could wear clothes. He yeah, had that, you know, civilian-style body. Yeah, but I want, like, the sweet-looking robot body, but without all, like, the pointy bits. I want to be able to do all the cool cyborg shit. So with the like military grade regular looking parts. Time you, you see somebody you know on the street and you don't want to talk to him and you try to like turn the other way. I do appreciate how Fonon's voice actress can do the freak out properly. She seems pretty good. Energetic freakouts. Talks exactly like a punk middle schooler would. Yeah, basically. Yeah, 
A full fledged woman of like 15 or 16. Right. I suppose that does sound like the kind of thing that high school kids talk about. Yeah, pretty much. Other parts have filled out and other parts have filled up. Your past of like a week ago. Like the last year, maybe. My senpai is being weird, I gotta go. Common trope, I think. I'm gonna beat you up until you forget you ever saw all this. Nobody sees me LARPing and lives. <laughs> I mean, I suppose in actuality, that's more or less what she's doing. Except, Pretty much. Except, you know, it's all real. Yes. LARPing with actual superpowers. <laughs> they just need to make a bag of Starburst that's all, all red Starburst. I imagine you could probably specify your colors if you ordered them in bulk. Like M&M's. I didn't even realize you could order Starburst in bulk aside from just like... Well, shipments you would normally get for a store of some sort. I don't know. I know you can order... Or you, you can special order big batches of M&M's, but... I don't know, maybe they do the same for Starbursts? That's weird, like, different colored M&Ms don't taste different. Is this the power of puberty? For some reason, something in this music just makes me think of the uh, background ambience from the police station and Resident Evil 2. I don't know, I'm not hearing it. It's just like a bell tone in the background that it keeps popping up. A job here is done, but you didn't do anything. My job here is done. A domino mask. Nobody will recognize me with this. Well, I mean, it worked for, you know, a lot of people. 
I mean, that's because, like, people in anime are apparently blind and dumb. And comic books. And TV shows. and I don't know, I think everybody knows who, like, knows Nightwing is Dick Grayson. I don't know. Yep, a gentleman. Despite the fact that I am, in all reality, a woman. I would have used it as a perfect opportunity to make a tiny boob joke. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> that did seem strangely easy. Strangely easy? I just need my time machine so I can go to the future and take video games when I want to play. Yeah, but you have to keep them in offline mode. Uh, I think it wouldn't matter either way. As soon as I came back online, they'd be like, hey, wait a minute. True. I mean, what could they really do aside from aside from ban you? It's like, well, I, can't, I got it from the future. You yeah, but do you want to be banned for playing video games from the future? I get to play video games from the future, so it sounds like a winning scenario for me. Anyway, next up on Radical Bromance. Back to the future.